goodness of fit for a logistic regression model. While we were discussing linear regression, we also faced this question. What if somebody comes and challenges our model? What is the confidence that we have in our model? We need to have some parameter or some scale to verify that yes, our model is good. In linear regression, we discussed R square and adjusted R square. But it won't work in logistic regression. Why? R square and adjusted R square were explaining the variance by the regression line. The variance of y which was explained by the regression was denoted by r square or adjusted r square. In logistic regression we don't have the concept of variance. We need to find some other alternative to find the goodness of fit for this model. So there are a few scales or few measures that we can take. One would be classification matrix. Another would be AIC and BIC and third one would be ROC and AUC. What these things are, we will discover them one at a time. But in this whole session, we will only cover classification matrix and AIC and BIC values. ROC and AUC we will separately cover in a whole new session which would be based on finding model validation. In this video, we will discuss classification matrix. For building any model, we have few actual values which are denoted by zeros and one over here and against those we build our model and we make predictions and our predictions also gives us the predicted value which could be zero which could be one it can sometimes classify zero as zero or it can classify zero as one also so if we build a classification table like this where the zeros and one are corresponding we would be able to find a new different matrix which would help us understand if our model is good or not. For example, if the actual value was 0 and model predicted is as also as 0, then we will call it a true positive value. If the value was 1 but the model predicted as wrong would be false negative value. And if the actual value was 0 and model predicted is wrong as 1, we will call it a false positive because it's saying it's positive but it's not. Then if we have 1 as actual and predicted was also 1, we will say yes it's a true negative. So like this we would be able to achieve a matrix and using this matrix if, if the diagonal values are more than the false negatives, the this diagonal values, we would say yes our matrix is quite good. Using this matrix we would be able to also find the accuracy of the model. We can do this by the true positive or true negative, the values which we were able to identify correctly, divided by all the values in our model. So this would give us accuracy. This whole classification table is also called confusion matrix because it's quite confusing as you can see. Let's go to our Python environment. We will build the fiber bits model from the scratch and we will create the confusion matrix for it and we'll find the accuracy of our model. Okay, so I will use pandas as PD and then fiber bits data that I will import and I will see all the column values names. Then I will define my y and x. My y is fiber bits active customer and my x is rest of the variables which I have defined into x. I will execute that part also. Then I will use sklearn model or sklearn package to build my logistic regression model. I will use sklearn.linear model and from there I will import logistic regression model. I will define my logistic regression model in the name of logistic1. There I have defined my model which I am going to use. This is my function which I am going to use. And using the fit function I will feed x and y values. Here I have built the model and which has been fit correct. Next thing I will do is I will use the predict function and I will give it the value x which, is, which are my independent variables. And using those I will predict the value of y. Let's select this and execute it. So now we can see over here that these are our y values and against it we can compare our predicted values also. Okay, so we will compare our x values to y values. For example, the original y value was 0 at the 0th element but it predicted as 1. So there are some mistakes it has made and there are some things that we can see that over here few values it has predicted correctly. Let us get into the confusion matrix and compare our results that we have gotten. 
To compare or create the confusion matrix, we will use the sklearns matrices and from there we will import the confusion matrix function. We will call it cm1 and we will use confusion matrix function and for x value we will give the actual value which was active customer. We can put y here also and we will say predict value which is predicted value we will put in the second parameter and I will execute this and print the confusion matrix using control R. Over here we can see we have created one confusion matrix which has identified 29,210 zeros correctly and 47,667 ones as correctly but it has identified 12,931 zeros as 1, 1s as zeros and 10,183 zeros as 1. There is a lot of disparity but we will improve our model later in the sessions and we will understand how we can improve the model but for now we will just find out what is the accuracy of our model. Looking at the confusion matrix we can see that yes the accuracy is not good but we will just look we will just find the accuracy. The accuracy would be the CM 100th element which is the true positive and then CM's 11 which is true negative. I will use this as total and then add this total and then divide this total with diagonal values of my confusion matrix and I will see the accuracy. From here we can see our accuracy of our model is 76% which is not that bad but still it's not good. But this is not up to us right now. We will just learn how to improve our model in the later session. To find the accuracy or score we can also use dot score function of sklearn or scikit package and I will supply it with x and y values. It will automatically predict the values and compare the predicted values to my original data values. And over here we can see we have gotten the exact value which we have gotten from confusion matrix.